So I want to continue on with um, a little bit more Queen Latifah. Um, I want to watch the music view, video for UNITY. Um, again, this is a few years after um, the release of Ladies First. It's another feminist anthem. Um, you know, and again, this is largely a reaction to um, how black females were portrayed specifically in music video and how they were talked about um, in lyrics by, um, by male rappers, you know. Um, and basically the whole message, unity, right, is, um, is to basically encourage uh, uh, black females to respect themselves, right, to, um, you know, challenge the disrespect that they're getting from the industry, challenge the disrespect that they're getting in, um, you know, music and music videos from other, other MCs, um, and basically, you know, do not accept being demeaned by the word bitch or hoe. And this is primarily, primarily a response to G-Funk music. I mean, very outwardly a response to um, G-Funk. And that's super, that's really important where you have the use of the word, um, you know, bitch and hoe, which is so commonly used in that type of music. Queen Latifah really, you know, acts ask basically women to stand up um, against that, um, you know, because they're trying to be put down and she ain't having that bullshit. Um, I mean, you really look at this, like she, she tells a story about when dude walks by and grabs her butt and she's like, nah, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, not at all, you know, and, you know, you just have her riding motorcycles. Um, she's on this big elevated you know, crane thing. I mean, it's just like, you just really see her as just such a, um, a statue for power, you know, for black female power. That's just so important then. But the interesting thing here is, you know, um, MTV would censor the words bitch and hoe and did not in this case. And that's because, you know, really one of the, ma the main things here is she's trying to reclaim those words. And if you take those out of the chorus, it, 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 it diminishes the, the power of the song and you need to have those. And she's not using, obviously, those, those words which do get censored um, sometimes in, in cable, not, not too much anymore, but you know, we're talking about early 90s and censorship was, for cuss words, was a little bit more strong. Um, you know, um, they, didn't, they didn't censor that out because it really would have, um, Change, not change the message, but it, it would have hindered the importance of the message because, you know, this is, you know, using those words to demean women. I mean, it was just so prominent. I mean, go, go and listen to NWA and NWA's um, first or specifically second album. Go listen to The Chronic, uh, Doggy Style, whatever. Go listen to those records and count you know, try to count in one of those records how many times, you know, um, you know, th those type, you know, bitch and hoe are used to demean um, women, you know, um, and that's just real important. She stands up to that. She ain't having that. So let's watch this music video. Um, Queen Latifah is such a badass. And then we'll, we'll chat a little bit about some specific lyrics in the song. 